Believe it or not, kids will be heading back to school soon. That means moms and dads, grandmas and grandpas, will be looking for easy ways to make lunches fun and good for you. The creator of EasyLunchBoxes.com, Kelly Lester, joins us just in time. How are you doing, Kelly? I'm great. Good morning, Renee. How are you? Good morning. I'm doing great. Always looking for some ways to make lunch fun, exciting, and trade-proof so your kiddos don't try to take someone else's lunch and give away theirs. What kind of suggestions do you have to help us do that? Well, you want to make it fun. Kids like familiar foods packed in divided containers. That's why my easy lunch boxes make it really, really nice for kids. It's all laid out right in front of them. So once you figure out how to pack the lunches, you want to work on what's actually going into them. So I like to get lots of natural ingredients that are fun for kids to eat. So one of my little secrets is honey. People are always looking for things that are natural and what's more pure than honey. So this is a great way to make a twist on a more traditional lunchbox item like the peanut butter and jelly sandwich. You can trade out the jelly with honey and then do a peanut butter and honey sandwich, add some fruit inside, roll it up. You could also use a nut butter alternative if your school has gone nut free. And um, these are actually chicken nuggets, but instead of the regular recipe, I've created a honey uh, sesame chicken nugget, and mm. the dip is really fun. Kids love to dip, so always include dips with everything if you can, because that'll, that'll really keep the fun factor going. Now, as moms, we're always trying to sneak in all the protein that our kids need into their diet, so I'm a big fan of these new Gogurt Protein by YoPlay. They have twice as much protein as the leading kids yogurt and get this no artificial flavors colors or sweeteners and no high fructose corn syrup so that's a great thing and those freeze really well and thaw by lunchtime so speaking of freezing you can also freeze a juice box these are um, Mott's 100% applesauce and apple juice products this one has um, two servings of fruit in the bottle of apple juice. This is a great snack and go applesauce. It's squeezable, so it's fun, and you don't even need a spoon, and it makes no mess. And of course, snacking. What would kids be without their snacks? So I try to stay away from packing things like high-fat potato chips. I like Pirate's Booty. It's wonderful. It's baked. It tastes so good. It's all natural, and it's gluten-free, peanut-free, tree nut-free, and it comes in these half-ounce 65-calorie packs, which are so convenient to toss in a lunchbox. And it's really great to have things available at the last minute when you're scrambling around in the morning. So it's good to, to get your kids involved and make the foods with them and try new things. If you go on my website, easylunchboxes.com, I have a wonderful lunch packing community where everyone shares their ideas and what they're packing and how they make things fun for their families. So great ideas there. And also on tips on TV, you'll find more recipes for honey and all kinds of things, links to all these wonderful products. So go, to, go there and you can find out a lot more. Hey, Kelly, I had a question. That dip looked amazing with the chicken nuggets. Uh -huh. what, what did you yeah. put in that? That's actually a combination of honey and different kinds of sauces. So um, with, with like a jelly and, and, an, and an apple sauce, you can do a really, really nice thing. Honey goes well with, I like to put it in plain yogurt, so you can, um, you know, dress that up. And just a little bit goes a long way. As far as your kids, I know you have three, and all of kiddos can be a little picky here and there. What do yours like the best? They like to pack their own lunches now, aren't I lucky? <laughs> you are. <laughs> my my youngest is going into high school, so they they're they're all doing their own. I I, I taught them well, didn't I? Yes, but you, you know did. what? It's, it's 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 good to listen to your kids, but it's also really important to keep offering them those healthy items. Them, you know, and making sure that just because they say all they want to eat is plain noodles. Don't just keep giving them plain noodles. Mm -hmm. Offer them a wide variety of fun and healthy choices, and eventually, when they're hungry, they will eat the good foods that you offer to oh, them. Oh yeah, so and that, that, that's that's kind of my tip for the day. Yeah. I, I think I think a lot of this picky eater stuff is sort of self-generated. You well, know, the pirate's booty vegetable flavor is amazing. So thank you so much for your mm -hmm. great tips today, and uh, woo, enjoy your time off from packing those lunches. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks Thank for you, having Kelly. me.